Today is October the 25th, 2017. This is going to be an update on a lot of progress I've made on uh, modeling the uh, output transformers. In particular, I've been uh, modeling the uh, uh, James output transformer, a little 20 watt, 8000 ohm primary, and then I want to do the Acrosound. I'm having some, some crazy issues. It's a little hard to explain. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but what I have spent an enormous amount of time on right here is running this uh, LT Spice. Let me show you some things that you can do with it. Um, from the comments that I got from you guys, it seems like you're ever bit as interested in learning about LT Spice as you are uh, anything else. And there are a few videos out there, but um, I don't know. They, they, uh, there are a lot of them are lacking. On the other hand, if, uh, if you Google exact uh, uh, subjects that you won't solve most of the time you can find it uh, you know like how to do whatever the little intricate things are you want to you want to do with this uh, LT Spice a wonderful program well look I'm gonna load some stuff here here's a uh, Macintosh MA230 channel right there this is actually quite easy to uh, to draw now it took me days to figure it out but I've got it all you got to do to put it in the center is, is press the uh, press the space bar right here, and it'll. It's already in the center, though, of course. There's a 12AX7 over here. Pair of 12AU7. This is drawn exactly accurate to uh, the uh, Macintosh MA230. The only thing that's different is right here. Let's see, right here in theirs, well, they have one of them's a potentiometer, and then they have uh, a potentiometer over here on the bias too. But since we have models, our models are perfect, you know, and uh, we don't have to do that. So here it is. I'm driving a pair of 6L6s with it, and this is the transformer I've modeled. It does not have the screen taps, um, and I'll, I'll explain in some detail the, 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 the challenges here with, with actually physically measuring the inductance of... Uh, these primary and, and secondary coils, but that's kind of a little bit of another subject. But let me show you. This is not hard to do. Once you once you have practiced enough, you can draw this whole entire schematic and make it run in 20 minutes. Let's go up here to the running man and click this. There it goes. It runs. It, we're running a um, a, um, a transient response right now. And then with your cursor, you go and if you want to see the output, you click wherever you want to see, and there's its output right there. If you want to see the current, you just hover your uh, cursor over a device, and it looks like a little um, clamp on ammeter, and you click on that, and there's the current. Here's the current over here. Here's the voltage over here. You can, you can just do an amazing amount of things with it. I love this stuff. I am really having a lot of fun with it. Um, this is just going to be a few things. Uh, I still got uh, some other work to do, but uh, I recommend this. Download uh, LT Spice from um, a website called linear.com. L I N E A R, linear.com. You can download the LT Spice there, and then you'll also need another one called Corin tubes dot let's see let's open this up right there you'll need a library called Corin underscore tubes dot inc you can find that easy enough too that's all the two things that you need and then you can share these files if you create a uh, Dropbox account you can upload these files and send them to each other we can send them around if you want and uh, you can have all these things it, it's a piece of cake and, uh, and like I said, I'm just having a whole lot of fun with it. Now, if we want to do a different kind of simulation, we can go to simulate up here. I hope I can do this easily enough. Then we go to AC analysis, and we'll do a decade sweep of, uh, say, 10. I'm, I'm holding the camera here because I had it on a, um, a tripod earlier, but um, that was causing me a lot of trouble, believe it or not. Let's sweep it from 10 hertz to... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's say 25 kilohertz.
still hurts. See how it made this um, this dot AC? Uh, it's a decrement type of sweep. This is the number of points. This is the start frequency, the end frequency. Then you say, okay. Now you've got this little thing that's floating around. You see where my cursor is? You got to save that. So just go somewhere where it's not in the way and click and save that. Now also what you've got to do is your uh, your voltage source over here has to uh, you, when you when you put the cursor on it and you got that little uh, hand with the finger sticking out, then you right click on it, and we have to go up here and give it uh, uh, an AC amplitude. Let's call it uh, 1.3 volts, and then we say OK. Now when we run it, we're going to get a completely different type of of display here. Let's use our cursor. We're, we're just looking at the output across an 8 ohm. Here's an 8 ohm load right here. Here's our transformer modeled with coupled uh, inductors. It's just it's just fantastic. And let's look at that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, if you want it inverted, I believe we can go over here to instead of a Bode plot or Bode, whichever you prefer to call it, and and put it a Cartesian plot, and then you get that. You can get rid of this phase if you want to by saying this there is a there are a thousand things to learn about this and the manuals that you can get online um, let me show you right here well let me show you you can print the schematics when you get through here's how they print just exactly the way they look you can uh, darken and make the the lines thicker just beautiful absolutely beautiful I see there's the the little Mac amp this this part over here, the Macintosh voltage amp, uh, I think I have two or three of those. But I have, um, here's one of, uh, of a different one. This one is of a Poseidon board that you can buy. The The lines are not real dark in this. I didn't print it, uh, I didn't print them thicker. And what's the last one? Oh, that's the same one, I think, yeah. Anyway, um... <clears throat> I'll have to continue to measure the transformers. I'll, let, I'll just explain it right here what the problem is. Is if you measure across the entire secondary, for example, and you get a reading of, say, 20 Henry's, and then you start measuring from the center tap to the screen tap, and from the screen tap to the plate lead, the sum of all of these smaller inductances like the inductance, say, from one plate lead to the screen tap, and then from the screen tap to the center tap, and then I'm just going across the transformer, and then from the center tap to the other screen tap, and from that screen tap to the other plate, you know, ac across the push-pull plates, the sum of all these does not add up to the uh, measured value across the whole primary. So the way I'm doing it is actually measuring the primary uh, excuse me, the secondary inductance, and then I'm doing the calculations. And they actually come out really close to what the um, uh, primary inductance should be because we know that inductance ratios are the same as impedance ratios. They're the square of the turns or voltage ratios. Anyway, so that's what it is. Um, let's see, there was something else I wanted to mention. Um, darn, I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, this right here, this model right here is of the uh, of the uh, James transformer, and uh, I do have a bunch of other models. Let me see if I can just start to show you what I, I've I've been uh, really. Um, let's see, that's the power amp. There's the Dynaco. Uh, there's the Dynaco ST70. I actually uh, got this one off the internet. You can cut and paste from uh, from one schematic to another, so you don't have to redraw everything. Like, one, say, for example, once you get the transformer exactly the way you want it, I can't do it with one hand, but you do a Control C, you you you, you go and whoops, I'm just moving around anyway. You go and you box it in, you and then you click on it, and then you can move it over to a different one and click, and and you can cut and paste between them, so you don't have to continuously redraw everything. Um, there's a lot to learn, but um, let's open another one. Uh, let's see, power up. Let's see, this is uh, here's my Acrosound Ultra Linear Transformer. Yeah, there it is. 
I'm only going to put one secondary out here, I think, the 8 ohm. But uh, these values are not correct right now. But that's easy enough. You, when you get the little hand on it like that, all you do is right click, and then you can change the values to whatever you want. And you can go up here and you can grab the move, and then you go and then see, and then you can move things around. You're going to have to play with it for a lot of hours if you've never done this. But it's a it's a whole lot of fun. I love it. There's a power amp with a Poseidon board. I think that's one you just saw. Yeah. There's the Poseidon board. And you can go out like this LM334. You, you just start uh, searching for it. Um, and then you can download it into your library. And then you can put it in here. So this is the exact component for component uh, Poseidon board that you buy, which is a... Uh, direct replacement for like the uh, Dynaco Mark III. You can, you can, once you, once you've done this enough, you can draw out the whole Dynaco amplifier, in, like I say, in 20-30 minutes. And it'll work. And then it, it prints beautiful. You've got a whole large library of tubes. Let me close all this down. No, we don't want to save anything. Let me see if I can find the uh, library of tubes. It's the one called Corin Tubes. Uh, this one right here. Let's open this guy up. Tube Library by a gentleman by the name of no Norman Corin. When you search for it, uh, K O R E N is his name. Corin underscore tubes dot mm, I and C, I think. You'll end up looking, finding Korea, of course, but uh, he's got to just spell it right and you'll finally get there. Gives you a whole lot of stuff. Here's the, here are the tubes. The 6ABA, oh, it goes on. There's there's lots. You probably, there's a 7199 triode section, the 7199 pentode section. 6AN8 triode section, pentode section, etc. Uh, it's got uh, 6GH8, 7025s, 6GH8, 6 uh, 6SN7s. Uh, 12AX, T's and U's, of course. Uh, as far as output tubes, it's got the triodes. It's like it's got like the, there's the 300B, the 2A3, uh, 6550s, 7027s, 6L6s, everything. 6BQ5, 6CA7s, EL34s. So there you go. Then it's got down here at the bottom a bunch of. It's got some brand names. It's got the a whole uh, set of. There's some Mullards, and then it's got a lot of JJ's in here. You got to have this library too, uh, but uh, once you download and install uh, the program from Linear.com, and then you get this library, you got it. Then all you got to do is learn how to draw all this stuff and and how to uh, model it. But you can find a number of things out on the internet. So anyway, this is a, a quick update. I'm going to stop right here. I still got some measurements to make. Uh, all of my all of my piece spice books. Oh yeah, you'll need this too. This is a really nice thing to have. A little uh, a little cheat sheet of um, um, hot keys. See, I've got a lot of spice and um, piece spice books from way back when. The last time I really took pea spice and spice uh, serious was is uh, 1996 some math CAD those are really nice programs too micro logic micro cap and then a whole lot more of these now these are not I'm not going to put them in the trash can but I have basically uh, abandoned pea spice for LT spice because the piece spice that I can have is the um, is the uh, student version, and uh, it'll work pretty good. But it's a whole lot harder to use than this LT spice. I really recommend it. So I'm going to continue making videos on this if you guys like them. Um, I, I would think it would take a bunch of videos, five or six or ten showing the nuances of how to move things around, uh, how to copy and paste and and model and insert. And there's a lot of things to learn. 
you got to sit in front of your computer for a long time to figure it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, I'll stop right here. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Naturally, there's always something else to show. Here, here's an Excel file that I got online. It has a lot of transformers in it, if you can see over here. It's got a lot of Hammond transformers. There's the acro sound. I added in this TO300 right here somewhere. Well, anyway, no, oh, there it is right there. I didn't need to add it in. There it is up here. Well, I wonder why I didn't see that earlier. Right there it is. See, it's got some of the parameters. It tells you that, like the TL300, the TL300 310, there's the 6600. There's what I'm looking for. They're using the six, 16 ohm tap, and they say that the uh, looks like the DC resistance of the uh, primary is 30 ohms. Uh, the DC resistance to the screen is 15 and so on so the data that I get I can compare somewhat to this and see you know if it's making sense it's got the coupling factors all kinds of good stuff so you, you might want to find this too uh, I don't remember where I got this I might have to mention that in another one or, or in, in a comment there you go just another nice uh, data sheet to have.